Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Katie. I'm adding up Addingtons and today I'm going to show you a little bit of a grocery haul. If you are new here, I am a mom of eight and so we go through a lot of food around here. All right, so what I wanted to do today was show you a couple examples of some pretty typical grocery hauls, I would say. Um, so a couple of things. First of all, we shop weekly, usually. Um, partially just because that's how we get paid. Um, our company pays us weekly. We also, um, part of that is just a practicality thing for storage. We have a ton of freezer storage and we have a ton of pantry storage, but we only have one fridge. So a lot of perishable things we have to restock on fairly often. So we spend roughly $300 a week or $1,200 a month on groceries. And that includes paper towels, diapers, toiletries, um, shampoo, soap, personal care items, that kind of stuff. We switched to grocery delivery and pickup almost exclusively around the time that everybody went into quarantine. Um, but we really just found that the, the trade-off between um, the delivery price and our time, the time and effort it took us to get away and go to the grocery store, um, was totally worth it. We shop primarily at Kroger and Costco for our food, and then occasionally we will order stuff from Gordon Food Service, which is a restaurant supply company, because we basically just run restaurant and then most of our diapers and toiletries and stuff come from Target so those are usually the main places you will see us shopping and then another thing to consider is we eat primarily but not exclusively vegetarian and vegan um, the kids are mostly vegetarian John is mostly vegan and I fall somewhere in the middle so, but in these two particular grocery hauls that I filmed, you will see our most frequent exceptions to those rules. Um, again, that was a health decision for most of us, um, so we are not exclusive on any of those things, but you'll see some of our favorite exceptions to those. All right, here we go. This is a Kroger haul for our family of 10, and this is half like pantry stock up and half like special family outing day. So I'm gonna show you kind of how we split that up. We did have these delivered. Um, we are finding that that is just the most efficient use of our time versus money right now um, in the time that it takes us to get out to the store. So I'm gonna start over here. This is for, we are going uh, swimming and grilling and just having kind of a fun family day outside today. So um, John got some Oreos for the kids. There's three of those. We may not go through all of those today. Um, if not, we'll stick those in the pantry. Got some hamburger buns, let's see. I think we had two packs of hamburger buns, but I don't know what I did with the other one. Um, and three packs of hot dog buns. We already have hamburgers and hot dogs in our deep freezer. We just keep those around in case we feel like, whoop, here's the other one. We just keep those around in case we feel like having company or throwing some stuff on the grill or whatever. So um, hamburgers and hot dogs are already in the deep freezer, but we did get some fresh buns. Um, these are our very favorite, the Kroger brand barbecue potato chips. These are our favorite. We also got some classic wavy ones and a little uh, treat for the grill master back here. All right, now this stuff is a little bit more normal bananas. This is what, maybe like three or four days worth of bananas. Um, so Eliana over there has already been into them. Karsten will eat three or four day if we let him. John eats those uh, little uh, ice cream action for mommy and daddy there. Uh, we got, well, let's see, six of these mixed frozen vegetables. These are something we keep around all the time. They go in everything from spaghetti to pot pie to John's curry. We just use those a lot. Um, this silken tofu we put in smoothies in place of yogurt. So that's something we usually have around. Um, penne. 
This is something we just keep a lot of in the pantry. We have pasta at least once a week and um, we do get the whole wheat stuff. Spaghetti sauce, also something we just have around. It goes in everything. Gallon sized freezer bags, a little onion powder, a little black pepper, because we need everything in bulk. Got peppermint tea, because we all like that. We got some mild sausage. We don't eat a ton of meat, but we once a week or so have sausage biscuits with sausage gravy with biscuits. And then, of course, pinto beans. These are two pound bags of dry pinto beans. Let's see, there's 10 of those, so it's about five weeks worth of refried beans right there. And uh, yeah, so that is our grocery delivery from Kroger. A um, little bit of pantry stock up, a little bit of fun family day. Okay, and this next haul that I filmed for you is from Costco. Again, we have this delivered. And this is closer to like a typical week of staples. There's a lot of produce, um, a lot of produce. <laughs> anyway, so check this out. All right, and here is a Costco haul. We just have these delivered. So I brought them right in and have them laid out for you guys. We get a delivery from Costco roughly once a week. Every once in a while we'll have stuff built up enough that um, we don't need it every week. But so some of this we will go through in a week and some of it will last a little bit longer than a week. And um, anyway, so I'm gonna show you what we got. We got two gallons of milk. We primarily use this for baking. Um, we don't drink milk much, um, so. Uh, cream cheese is mostly for cooking also. Um, I will make like pasta sauces and stuff with that. Eggs, again, primarily for baking, although I will occasionally eat eggs. Um, got 10 loaves of bread. We will probably go through most of that in a week. Uh, two packs of tortillas. Here, we usually go through a little bit more than one in a week, just between tacos and quesadillas and whatnot. Um, we got these pre-breaded uncooked chicken breasts. Um, this is what we use to deep fry for like homemade Chick-fil-A or daddy's Chick-fil-A. Um, and we are hosting a birthday party for a friend tomorrow, so that's what we're making. Uh, pizza, this is our Wednesday night dinner. We have pizza once a week just to make it easy on mom. Um, and so we actually just kind of stock up on these whenever they're in. All right, now here's the bulk of our stuff. We've got some kosher salt, apples, um, oranges, pineapple. We will easily go through those in the next week. We've got some biscuits for biscuits and gravy. Uh, berry blend, John makes smoothies and oatmeal with this. Grapes. Uh, this is a four pound box. This is probably two meals worth of grapes for my kids. Cherry tomatoes, everybody loves these. We got some avocados because mommy wanted some. Broccoli, uh, we usually go through closer to two bags of this in a week, but we still have some left over from last week, so we just got one. Spinach, lettuce, this is not quite a week's worth. Again, we have a couple heads still in the fridge from got some baby carrots we go through these pretty quickly um, and some potatoes um, contact solution because mommy and daddy are out and these soft and chewy granola bars these are john's um, running and mountain staple when he needs something easy on his stomach but high carb high sugar for his endurance uh, workouts that's what he packs with him so that is our Costco grocery haul. Um, again, about a week's worth or so. And uh, we'll do it all again next weekend. All right, so thanks again for being here. I hope you enjoyed our Kroger and Costco haul for our family of 10. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more of our large family life. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.